Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're starting off a new series today on the Old Stream Farm. And this series is going to be a little bit different than uh, some of the other things that I've done. Uh, first off, this is technically a European map. If I spin around here, you can see the European style buildings. Uh, and I tend to prefer to play on American style maps. Uh, this is a map that I've played on before, but I haven't gotten very far on it. Uh, and as I looked around for a map that kind of worked for what I wanted to do in this series, um, this was one that really kind of jumped back out at me as a good small farming uh, kind of a map. And the intent of this series is going to be to play with uh, some older, more classic equipment, uh, not too old, probably more like 80s era uh, style equipment. And we'll probably mix in some newer things as, you know, it's hard to find mods to fit everything uh, that I want to do. And, you know, the thing that's really going to set this series apart from some of the other things that I do is that uh, we're going to um, play completely within uh, the game. We're not going to cheat any money in. Uh, in fact, we're going to start with zero dollars. And so... Everything that I do on this map, I'm going to have to earn as we play. Uh, we will be playing with Seasons, uh, but uh, given that Seasons is going to start us off in the winter, I thought that it would be easier to just kind of show off the map in this introductory video before I uh, go ahead and enable Seasons. And so with that, let's kind of take a quick uh, look around the farm. Uh, we are going to start with uh, some equipment to handle everything that we want to do. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do on this map is actually uh, try out all of the different animals. It's something that I haven't really done in Farming Simulator. I've kind of done pieces of them, uh, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to just hit um, hit all of the basic animal types on this map. And so um, we've got a nice old uh, Chevy Silverado here because every farm needs a good work truck. And then if I come into uh, the farmyard here, I do have a, a front loader with all the necessary attachments. We've got some baling equipment, so we are going to be doing a little bit of grass work. We've got a nice uh, coon mower, uh, John Deere baler here. And if we uh, run over here into the back of the yard, we do have a bin set up in this building here. So we've got a nice gravity wagon there. Uh, we've got a uh, coon rake here uh, for our grass work. We've got a nice uh, John Deere 2210 field cultivator. And uh, we've picked up a, I believe this is a white planter. It's a, a nice 12 row planter. And uh, it's very similar to uh, the planter that I used when I worked on the farm. Um, and so I'm going to be trying to replicate some of the equipment that I've actually used in real life. We've got a ripper here to be able to uh, plow up our fields as necessary. Uh, I couldn't really find a good older style uh, sprayer that was not too small. Most of the sprayers that I found were really small. And so we're going to use this uh, uh, in-game hardy three-point mounted sprayer. And then now we're going to get into some of the more interesting stuff, our equipment or our, our vehicles here. We got the 4955 that was just recently released on the Mod Hub. And then we've also got a 4240. Um, this is also uh, recently released by Black Sheep Modding, I believe. Um, loving this new 40 series. And this is going to be our front loader tractor as well. Uh, so we've got something a little bit bigger. And then um, this you know, 4240 is probably going to see a lot of use here. Uh, we also do have a uh, square bale stacker because I'm horrible at bale work, so at least this will help us out on the field. And then, uh, of course, we've got our handy John Deere 500 auger wagon. Um, I really like this mod. And then uh, this is another new release uh, on the mod hub here recently, uh, Sid Modding's uh, 9500. Uh, this is actually the combine I used to use on the farm. And then to match our 12-row planter, we've got a 12-row corn head and a 12-row bean head here. So um, we'll be able to uh, have some fun with that here as the series goes on. 
I believe that is all of our equipment that we're going to be starting off with. So if I missed anything, uh, we're going to be trying to make some ends meet here as we uh, get into um, the actual gameplay. If we take a look up at the map here, we can see that uh, the main farmyard here includes fields 4 and 6. And then I've also purchased fields 5 and 27. And so let's uh, take a quick look at those. So if we jump up here in the air and take a look at our farm from an aerial view, we can see that uh, we've got field 6 here, which is a nice little one acre field in the front of our farm. And then in the rear of the farm here, uh, field 4 is I think about 1.6 acres. And then we picked up uh, field 5 here, which is right on the other side of this rear entrance to our farm. And this is 3.3 uh, acres, which is a nice little uh, addition for arable farming. And then we've got this big grass field back here, uh, which is a little over 4 acres, which is uh, nice and straight, long rows, which is going to make it easy for um, doing our grass work for the... Um, cows and sheep and and getting some hay and stuff going um, there's a lot of other fields around us uh, I didn't want to start too big um, I wanted to kind of earn my way through uh, growing the farm here and we're gonna have a lot to do uh, with the uh, fields that we have and trying to take care of animals and such and so the goal in the uh, first year here on the farm is going to be to uh, get everything set up so that by the end of the year I want to have at least two of every uh, animal type that's supported on the farm and so we're gonna have to think through what crops we're growing in the three fields that we have available to us uh, to kind of get that uh, started off and so um, this is uh, just a quick intro video. We're probably going to try and do our first play session on this uh, tomorrow in Sunday's video. And then uh, see how things go. Really looking forward to hearing your feedback and any suggestions you have for this series as we are just getting started. Oh man. It looks like it's still snowing out here. Huh, I guess I should have probably put the grill away for the winter. Oh well. Let's uh, head back in. There's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do until spring. Guess we'll just, I don't know, hibernate until winter's over. That's all for today. Ketterk out. <laughs>